Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create an interactive prototype um, just like this one where you can have things be clickable and I want to do this fully in less than 10 minutes. So what I'm going to be using as my example is the Google, sorry, the Apple Clock app. And all I did is I went to Google, and I searched Apple Clock app snapshot. You can do any other app you want. Um, just do something with at least three screens. And we're not going to worry about making every little thing interactive. All I'm going to show you is how you can click between screens using um, draw.io. So the first thing I want to do is go to draw.io or diagrams.net. And this is what it looks like. There's going to be three tabs with different clocks. So I'm going to um, delete all this and delete all these. OK, and then delete these different pages. I probably should have just done that. OK, so the first thing you want to do is you should see down here, it should say page one. So you're just going to double click and then just change it to whatever the name of the page is. In my case, it's going to be roll the clock. The second thing I did is I went to view and I turned off grid. So click view and make sure grid is unchecked. Next, you want to make sure you go down to more shapes and make sure that iOS is checked under software. So you can get the, um, the iOS UI screen. Okay, so that's going to be the first thing I do. I'm going to add the app screen here. And next, I want the image for reference, so I don't have to keep jumping back and forth between tabs. So I'm going to right click on that image result, copy image address, and then I'm going to click the plus, choose image, um, paste with command or control V, and then click apply. And there it is. So we're on the world clock, which is this one right here. So first I just want to create this bottom navigation here. So I'm going to Click the rectangle tool and then just put a rectangle at the bottom here. I'm not concerned about this being super accurate. I'm just concerned about adding some interactive buttons. So I added a rectangle, then I added a circle, and I'm just going to add five circles. And I duplicate this by pressing Control or Command D for duplicate. And notice how that blue line shows up. You definitely want to have that blue line show up so that you know you're centered properly. So I'm going to space these out a little more. Maybe like that. You might have to be careful if you're too zoomed out. It's going to start dragging these other controls and stuff. Okay, so there, I've got my buttons roughly down there. And then I'm actually going to hold, I'm going to click that and hold shift, select all of these with shift held down, and just drag them up slightly so I have room for my text. So now I'm going to click here on text, and then I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to call it world clock, and it's very, you know, large so I'm going to shrink it down. So you can double click on this to highlight it and then click these down arrows until it fits on one line. So it looks like six points is the sweet spot and just center that and then maybe move these both over and I'm doing this with the arrow keys on my keyboard. Okay now I'm going to duplicate that, center it under here, call that alarm Duplicate that. 
call it bedtime. Actually, I'm not even going to create that one because we're not going to make it clickable. So stopwatch. So those are going to be our three clickable buttons. Okay, so now I'm going to start replicating what's on this screen. So basically, all I'm going to do is add the city and the time. You can, of course, add more details if you want. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to make it left aligned. And I'm going to have it say New York. And then duplicate that. And have it say 12, 15. This one I'm going to make right aligned. Make it bigger. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to click that, hold shift, click another one, press command D or control D, move that down, and we'll just call this one Austin and make this one um, 11.15. Okay, so this is, oh, and I want to have some indication that we're on the world clock, so I am going to add that. So I can just duplicate this, world clock, center it, make it a little smaller, and then just center it here. Okay. All right, so at this point, I'm going to duplicate this page so I can create the other interactive pages. So I'm going to go down here, click the three dots, click duplicate, and this one I'm going to call alarm, rename. Okay, so for alarm, I'm going to have it match this layout. So in this case, we don't have cities, and these are going to be on the right side, or the left side, and we need to add these little switches so I'm going to use the rounded rectangle, move that into place, drag the blue dot, and then you might notice it's not really round uh, like the switch. So I'm going to click and drag the orange circle or the orange diamond there to make it round. And then I'm going to add another circle. Make that little switch, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to hold Shift and click on that, and then press Command or Control D to make one more copy. And for whatever reason, it put the pill shape on the top, so I'm going to click on it and to move it backwards. I'm guessing it's Command B. Nope. It's going to be under Arrange. They only have to back. They don't have it moving one, one at a time. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to change that to say Alarm. All right. Now my Alarm page is done. I'm going to duplicate one more time. And this one I'm going to call stopwatch. Rename. And this one doesn't have a whole lot to it. Let's rename that stopwatch. Delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. We just have one big number. So I'm going to center that. And then type OO colon o o colon or dot o o make it a bit bigger okay so now all my screens are done i'm going to delete the reference on all of these and i'm going to make these interactive so i'm on world clock i want to go to alarm so i'm going to click
on the circle. And I'm going to right click and click edit link or you can press alt shift L on the keyboard. And now I want alarm to go to alarm. Click apply and I want stopwatch. to go to stopwatch. And since we're already on world clock, we don't have to have this go anywhere. On the alarm page, I'm gonna have the world clock link to world clock and have stopwatch link to stopwatch. And then on the stopwatch page, I'm gonna have world clock link to world clock Oops. and then have alarm link to alarm and so now to make this interactive go to file publish link um, and then just click create It'll ask you to sign in and authorize, and then you'll have one of these. So I hope you found this useful. Hope you enjoyed it. Now you can make interactive prototypes. Feel free to add more details and go further with this.